All right, here we go. Again, thanks for everybody uh, being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, today's Tuesday, November 28th. Hey, uh, real quick reminder. I believe there's public e-learning tonight in the uh, free room, and Doug will be hosting Doug Right Way Options. I think it's Doug. I hope I'm not in trouble here. I think it's Doug. Um, anyway, if you're not doing anything about 8 p.m. tonight, thank you, Carol. Thank you very much. It's Doug. It was confirmed. If you're not doing anything at 8 p.m. Eastern night tonight, um, come hang out with us in uh, the free room here. And let's see what Doug has to say about the market, charts, and trading, okay? Uh, we know that's always going to be good. All right. Let's talk about the market a little bit. What I'm feeling here on the market, what I'm seeing here on the market is a little bit of sponginess. Just, just a little bit of sponginess. Overall, the trend is still bullish. Nothing has, um, nothing has really changed uh, to speak of. Um, price is still above the T-line. Uh, T-line is still above the trend indicator. We're still working pretty good here. The 50 period moving average is kind of curling up right here. This is the exponential 50 and it's on a nice little run to the upside. Um, you know, I think the, the biggest problem that we have is, is uh, the SPY here is flirting with these tops and it needs to find a way through it is what it needs to do. And it may, you know, it may attempt to go up there a couple of times. It may pull back and regroup, try to raise more money uh, to pop through that top right there. And that's what I'm going to go with until, until that's not right. And what would make that not right is if we started breaking down a little bit. Uh, but right now, uh, it looks to me like we're still uh, quite bullish here. FNGU may be, may, be, may be starting to be a problem. Uh, we've got a pullback here, a little wiki at the top. That's, that's a sign that there might be some sellers in there, maybe more than what we really want. And you can see that we're flirting over here. Let's put this line up here. There you go. You can see we're flirting with this top up here. So it needs to, needs to find a way to get through. Um, and, uh, you know, it may have to go down the staircase before it can go up the staircase. So watch for that. Sometimes we start pushing down that staircase. It pushes a little too hard and the bears get a little too aggressive. And we want to be careful with our long trades in there. Um, if you take a look at T2123, yeah, three, 15 minute, we closed yesterday, still bullish. Same with the hourly, still bullish. Uh, for those that follow that MACD, it's still green and bullish here. Um, if we look at T2122, we are, we are deep in the overbought area. For some folks, that's a problem. For other folks, it's not so much a problem. And, you know, every trader has the tools that they use and has a way that they use those tools. Uh, but right now, I will say we're, we're really uh, bunched up in the overbought area. For me personally, it doesn't bother me. In fact, I like it up there. To me, it just simply means that the bulls are in charge. So um, here we are. Follow the trend. Uh, speaking of the trend, let's do this. This is, this is to me, one of maybe this one here, maybe, oh, this one here. You know, this is one of the best charts that I think anybody could have. Um, and I know I say this all the time, you know, you're probably tired of me hearing, tired of me saying it, certainly tired of hearing it, but having something like this, green means bullish, red means bearish. It, that's not difficult. And really taking your trading down to something so basic can be so incredibly simple. And it's not just the daily chart. Uh, look at the hourly chart. You know, when the hourly chart is green, it's bullish. When the hourly chart starts to turn a little bit red, well, we might not be bullish. Now, I want to talk about this since we're here. I had a purpose going to the hourly chart. It's really important to learn or to know when, um, when we start to enter a possible turn zone. And right now we are in a possible turn zone. And what I mean by a turn zone is this is clearly bullish. I mean, that 
you know, everything is working. Um, the yellow line is above the white line. White line is above the green dots. The green dots are moving. All of a sudden, look what happens here. Those white and yellow lines starts coming down a little bit. This is possibly a turn. Now, I will bet, I will bet a cheeseburger and a cold beer to anyone that if you go back and you, you research your trading and you look at where you had the most difficult time trading, I'll bet you that big bacon cheeseburger and a beer that you had more difficult at this turning area. You, you made money when we're trending up and you might have made money when you're going down. Not everybody makes money going down. Um, but that's these are the two places you make money. This right here, this is where the market loves you to be. Let's face it, the market's got to eat too. You know, the market wants a big cheeseburger. And this is where they take your money, at these turns. So learn to recognize when we start, um, uh, that when we start, getting into the turn area um, and, and this is this is something I look for right here and and this is where I want to be a little cautious this this is what led me to say that the market is looking a little spongy in here so we want to make sure that the bulls can pull it out if the bulls can't pull it out we'll certainly be looking for shorts out there okay all right I've got a couple of trades I want to look at and here we go um, first of all, um, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't really know how many people I'm not privy to how many people actually watch the video. I suppose I could figure out how, but last night I sent a video out. Um, there were two videos, uh, on there. One was NG and one was Etsy. Uh, you should have received it on your email. If you did not, the first thing to do is check your junk box if you're interested. Of course, if you're not interested in getting those, then that's fine too. Uh, but NG was one of them. I see targets up here around this, you know, in this green box area here, around the 440, 450 area. The second target up here, you know, in that four, maybe even low five area right up in here. So the thing that we're going to do as traders is we are going to put together an entry on here. Thanks, Carlos. Appreciate it. Uh, put an entry on here. Here we have a nice little bottom uh, setup. And let's do this here. So here's here's the bottom. And then we pop up and there's a higher bottom. And here we pop up and here's a higher bottom. That's a very good sign for a stock. So here we are over the 50 period moving average. Um, the uh, T-line is over the Trendicator. Trendicator is over the 50-period moving average. Shazam, that's one of our, our flagship strategies, rounded bottom breakout. So I'm going to be shopping for an entry on this, and I will post it out in the room here, uh, members room, uh, of course, on the members app, all the details of the buy. The second one is going to be Etsy. Etsy is another rounded bottom breakout. You can see that great bottom put in there. Here we've popped up and we've just gone sideways, kind of a J-hook continuation pat pattern setup. Targets up here around 80, 81, and then follow with follow through around that 89 area or the 200 period moving average up here. So uh, Etsy's looking pretty good. Etsy also has a, a really good looking uh, bullish dub. Well, let's make that a little bigger. There we go. Uh, bullish W pattern set up there that we've broken out of. Sweet. See how we broke out and came back and tested it? That's uh, one of the things we want to look for right there. So nice chart. There's two charts that we'll be shopping for big time. Um, crowd is still set up. Crowd looks like it moves moves higher. Trend is still there. Um, I guess at this point, what I would look for is a breakout. Aggressive traders. You know, you certainly buy it down here. You just have to have your rules. Make sure you put your risk in there, your risk rule. And then, you know, think about profits on the way up. Let's please, please, let's not forget that this market is getting a little spongy. Okay. Just a little bit spongy. So what, what, what may happen is charts that look good, they may kind of wither down a little bit. 
um, not necessarily fail, but it, you know, you buy this, buy that, buy the other thing, and you're just not seeing any real follow through. It's not necessarily the problem of the stock you pick. It's the problem of the overall market, overall market. Let's go back to that overall market right now is just climbing this wall of worry. Uh, that's all it's doing, climbing a wall of worry. And we're at that spongy area where we need to pull back a little bit. You've got people on the sidelines waiting and, and you know, you've got, you know, people on the starting line. You've got people on the sidelines, you've got people on the starting line, you know, you've got people ready to, they're even walking a little bit off that starting line. They're just kind of waiting for those little things. Hey, RCL, RCL, somebody here in the room posted this yesterday. Thank you very much. Nice con con consolidation here. And uh, I love the way it, I mean, charts repeat themselves, okay? So look how this thing popped up, consolidated, popped up, and consolidated. And what we want is pop up, consolidate, pop up, and consolidate. We've talked about this in the past week. This is what charts do. The most bullish of any chart you've ever come across will do this exact same thing. And every chart does this. They consolidate, pop, consolidate, pop, consolidate, pop. Our job is to figure out how to get some of that money right there. That's our job. Some of this money. Um, DDD. Man, I'm flipping through charts this morning and I found that one. I found, thought I was going to fall off my chair. That's a nice looking chart. That's a beautiful chart. Take a look at this low over here. We're going to draw a line to this low and we've got ourselves a nice inverted head and shoulders. An inverted head and shoulders and a bullish W pattern might be my two favorite patterns off the bottom. Now, within those patterns, you're going to see things like if somebody was to call this a rounded bottom, I wouldn't argue with you. You're going to see the, the inverted head and shoulders, and you're going to see the bullish W pattern. It will make a rounded bottom. I tend to look for the actual pattern, not the rounded bottom. The rounded bottom is not an actual pattern. It's just a rounded bottom. Um, so I look for those two. Um, you can see here that the uh, I've been really, by the way, I, I've been hammering the rounded bottom breakout lately. And the reason is there's so many charts set up in it that look amazing to me. And this is one of them. So uh, DDD, uh, everyone knows that the max you can get from the rounded bottom breakout, I'm not saying it can't go higher, is the 200 period moving average. So our, our uh, trade playground is right there about 60 percent not too shabby uh mu nice little flag pullback nice little trend this is what we call a pbo uh, pullback opportunity um just to clarify um, anything in a trend that pulls back you could call it a pbo pullback opportunity is what it is and we're looking for the buyers to step in or we're looking for that entry everybody may um, everybody may have a little different entry on it. Um, AT&T. AT&T, I spotted this this morning, and it's on the list, you know, but I don't know if this is going to hold up. So what I'm watching on AT&T is if this belt hold that was created pre-market is actually going to hold and maybe follow through when the market opens up. If it does, I'm going to take AT&T a little serious. So here's AT&T, nice, beautiful trend. I think we've got a terrific pre-market candle. Now, I'm, I want to want to emphasize pre-market. I have seen nine out of 10 times over my career, pre-market candles that look great end up looking like a turd. So be really, really, really careful on this. Don't get, don't get sucked into the pre-market. It can still be a turd. Uh, Foot Locker. Look how Foot Locker is moving sideways here. I love that. Uh, overall, you can see that the trend is up. Overall, you see the trend is up. Here we pop up, and then we just consolidate through here. I'm going to put this little thing like that. There we go. So 
Uh, anywhere in here is a buy for one type of trader. Um, another type of trade. Whoa, what did I just do? Let's see if I can get rid of that. There we go. Another type of trader is going to be a breakout trader. And you know that when, when you when you think about your trading, we're, we're all really in one of two groups in, in this type of chart pattern. Um, we're either um, we're either the buyer in this area or we're the breakout buyer. So you can be both. Nothing wrong about that. You can certainly be both on that. But what you have to do is you have to have different rules for them. They do require different rules. As an example, if you, if you bought in here, you might use a stop right here. But if you buy up here, well, I don't think you want to use that stop down there. That's what I discovered some people were doing. They thought, well, if I buy up here, I'll just use that stop down here. Truth is, that's a lot of money. And we want to keep our losses small. 8% um, uh, losses, uh, probably uh, too big in my book. Um, DPZ, wow, look at that thing yesterday. Um, I didn't hear anybody say anything about it. If, you, if anyone picked up some of this, great. This, um, I've got a scan that looks for big days like this. And then within 10 days, within 10 days, um, if, if it happens within 10 days, what it will do is if we break out of that big candle, that will start alerting. And that's one of the scans I'm going to be looking for and watching for this DPZ. Now, of course, it can be bought in you know, any kind of pullback. You know, we can, we can look for that as well. I was just sharing, I have a scan that looks for these after they've moved within 10 days, breaking out of that big day. That would be follow through right there. That would be follow through. So, um, snow is another one. Snow is another one that looks like we move a little bit higher. Trend is still working. There's no, absolutely no reason in the world to think we're not going to move higher on that. So, snow's looking pretty good. All right, let's see here before I, yeah, I probably need to shut this off. So, it looks like we're opening up above the T line. It looks like we're going to open up below yesterday's close. So let's see what this market has to give us through here. Again, be a little bit careful. Um, watch that hourly chart. Uh, it's going to look horrible here because it's real time. Watch, watch that hourly chart. And if you see that hourly chart weakening up, that's, that could lead to a bit more of a pullback on the daily chart that you're comfortable with. Uh, so we want to watch that, okay? All right. Hey, thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks, everybody, for being here. I appreciate it. And we'll see you at the bottom of the hour when this market opens up, okay? Thanks. Have a great day, everyone.